Hello, petal flowers. Hello, 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 hello. It's absolutely baltic in here. Oh, la la. I put the radiator on a wee while ago. So you've got, got to actually uh, have some ventilation with these colour gas or fuel thing me majiggeries. Right, just let me get organised a wee minute. It's been one of the goddamn days. Oh, my bum, if there's no spiders. That's what I'm saying to you. Remember I said before? Oh, I might be able to sit in my wee seat here. It might be too wee. Not too toty. Um, remember I did say to you before that uh, I move all the cushions when I leave my shed. Excuse me. I came down at one point and I'd left the cushions off line as they're sitting. And there's a great big massive king size black spider. Now, I don't mind the spiders as long as they're not anywhere near them. So the night before last, it was absolutely torrential. Pardon me. Um, so I just run down here about 8 o'clock and just locked everything up. And I came down here and moved all the cushions because I hadn't moved them when I came down and locked up. Oh, and see my funny cushion here. A great big, big, massive, big spider, honestly. It was like that. It was just freaking stoting about all over the top of the blinking cushion, but I've got my, as I've shown you before, this raid is absolutely fantastic for everything, and it killed it. Sorry about that, my love of nature, etc, etc, but my love for myself, sitting down here, with no heebie-jeebies crawling over the top of me, it comes first, I'm afraid. So said cushions were all moved yesterday, uh, last night, should I say, and so far, there is no heebie-jeebies. As yet, see with that door shut, I need to keep the door shut, but I'm going to have to put this off because it does, the fumes really do get to you. Right, okay, first of all, I'm going to say thank you very much to my husband. I did ask him if he could uh, have a look online and see if he could get me a nice pair of vintage reading glasses. And they have just turned up along with other parcels he said I haven't to look at. So I got Daniel to open everything that came, so thank you very much, dear. These are lovely. Very nice. I'm sorry, I'm up and down like a yo-yo. I'm just trying to get this sorted. I'm sitting these on my cooker. I'll get that upside down. I have got it upside down, that's why I'm not looking at the right. My gardens are never totally spick and span unless you're one of those OCD people that like uh, everything at prim and proper um, all year round well I'm afraid we live rural and it's just me so there's definitely no chance and with a great big king size dog so I'll show you in a wee bit it's just been one of the days that nothing's been going right nothing major but um, just one of those goddamn days so this video this morning is going to be the yearly tag or the yearly um, nomination type things that go around and I have been nominated by the lovely Steve Digwell. Things that I would change or do different from last year and then nominate another three people. Well, my regular viewers, if you have noticed, uh, I have not been really putting up an awful lot over the summer or uh, videos garden wise health matters uh, problems life getting in the way etc etc i have not been sticking the video camera on to video me running out and in the garden i've just been going about my gardening business and just doing stuff just basically not getting stuck in non-stop but things that's been needing doing i've been running out the house getting it done and getting back in i really couldn't think because of me not putting videos up you know to look back on trying to stick to when not to and when to sow seeds now this year has been an absolute terrible year for me for chilies i have got three tiny tiny wee plants that i sown february or the beginning of march i think i can't remember rightly um from papa rab uh, old gardener guy in finland has Aztec chili. He had sent me uh, seeds last one absolutely massive plant from about 10 or 12 seeds, I think, that I sown. I can't remember right. And I mean, one plant's enough because it's absolutely full, but it's taken right up to near enough the end of the summer for it all starting to produce and putting out the right. It's like we uh, Christmas tree lights, 
but by God, they blow the blinking head off you. So one plant is really enough if you're going to dry them out or put them in a pickling. But the ones that had sown at the exact same time, they're only about that size. So I'm going to try and overwinter them because normally I overwinter some of the chilli plants that I have out in the garden anyway. I think I'll go back to sticking to sowing my chilli seeds usually the end of November is when I start them. So I'll definitely it's something that will change next year. The jalapenos and my Joe's Long and I think there was another variety. I can't remember off the top of my head. They were all sown a wee bit later and they've came to nothing. I don't know if it's because of the heat that we've been having this year. But usually chilies thrive in those conditions. So sowing things that are normally so round about November, December. Last year I sown a wee bit later and they've actually been a disaster. So that's what I'm going to do. Go back to my original sewing system. Number two is definitely to be sewn just the things that I want to eat. I've got a very large chest freezer that Hubby bought the year before last for all my fruit and veg etc out here and uh, I've got a quarter of that still jam-packed full of stuff from last year that I eat but nobody else. Sweet potatoes are absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to sow this season coming up or grow this season coming up is definitely more Patat douche, which is sweet potatoes, because I got a bag up there and I did say on put a photograph up on a different video that I'd put my hand in, dug down, and I had two big massive ones that I'd lifted down. that are still left in the bag. I've not went back through it. The leaves are all starting to kind of die off now, so I'm hoping once I have a look. Then those cloth bags, I shall definitely be sowing more sweet potatoes. Things to change, number three. Now, I usually do cover quite a lot of the stuff that I grow, including my garlic, my onions that you already know, uh, that I have suffered umpteen times, umpteen years with the dreaded leaf miner. And hubby keeps telling me just to kind of pack it in, forget about it, just go and buy them. But it's the thought of giving in. You know that way, I, I don't like to get beaten. So we're trying again, as I've already put some white sets in, but I didn't put an awful lot because I want to try the seeds so that they don't bolt. And I have got my environmation, so they are going to get covered the whole season long with some environmesh. And hopefully, fingers crossed, and touch goddamn wood, that, uh, I'll touch this as well. And hope to God we do manage to get a decent harvest. I was putting my onion sets and my garlic in the other day. I did say that uh, I was planning on going no dig. That's exactly what I'm, I'm planning on doing as well. So that's a big change. So that I am definitely not afraid of hard work or getting stuck in and digging like a man would dig. Don't know if that's a wee bit sexist, but there you go. Um, whatever they can do, I can do also. I was watching a few of Charles Dowding videos and uh, apparently it's great for the soil. And it's better for the soil if you do the no dig because you're interrupting all um, the ecosystem etc that's in the soil with all the constant digging. I've already covered up one plot that has not been touched or dug over the whole summer long and has been covered with cardboard. So I've just covered that with a bag of compost and I've got yet another bag of compost to put on top of it. So that's the start of my no dig. I'm determined to beat that goddamn leaf miner so that I can get decent crops. Possibly. A lot of you will already have been tagged and done your videos. I don't know of a lot of catching up to do. So I apologise if these have been mentioned before, but here we go. So number one I am going to put down Digging for Dinner. is fantastic uh, channel with Joe and his girlfriend Kelly. So Joe and Kelly's getting a wee bit like me and uh, trying to expand and do different things in along with the gardening. Like he's fishing, uh, camping out. What else does he do? He's cooking Joe oh, at uh, Digging for Dinner. You are tagged, my lovely. Number two is Michael Brotherton. Uh, Michael, that we usually call Mike, is an absolute diamond of a guy. Now, Mike, I absolutely love up my bits and his work ethic is second to none. He would put a hell of a lot of younger people to shame. So get over and visit Michael Brotherton's channel. So there you go, Mike. Apologies yet again if um, you have already been tagged. But there you go, honey. Go over to Old Gardener Guy in Finland and check out Rab, or my papa Rab, as I've adopted him, and see what he is all about. Fantastic. Chat. Alongside the gardening, Rab also shows us round about the area where he lives, his dog, his grandchildren, 
Um, he does wee sing songs. Some of his videos, it's just singing. But he's absolutely brilliant. So jump over to Old Gardener Guy of Finland. And Rab, I apologise again if you've already been tagged. But there you go, sweetheart. Papa Rab, I have tagged you. So, I am off. I have got things to do. The dreaded housework. Once again, Hobby, thank you very much for my lovely vintage spectacles. Very nice indeed. So, till the next one, guys. Au revoir. Toodle pip. Love you a long time. Bye-byes.